girl And when they call me that, it's a fact, girl Oh, you didn't know? Don't try to act, girl You know you see me coming, just Good morning guys, so for this video I'm basically just going to be showing you, taking you along my whole day of what I eat to lose weight. So right now it is the morning time, it's about 9.30, I actually wake up at 8.30 but I overslept today. Um, so usually I have my birthday breakfast around 8.30 but I overslept so it's 9.30 but whatever. I'm in my kitchen as you guys can see and we're just going to go ahead and get started. I just start off y'all in the morning with my apple cider vinegar drink. All you're gonna need is some water. I like to do like a half a cup of water and I usually just use like some leftover bottle water I have. Um, you're gonna need a lemon, apple cider vinegar, of course, I like the Bragg's one, um, some cayenne pepper and some honey. And basically what this does is it's really good to burn fat. I'm just gonna do just a little bit, like a tablespoon, so the color looks like that. And then I'm gonna use my lemon. And then I take some cayenne pepper. I only do a little dash of cayenne pepper because I hate how this tastes in here. But it's really good for like burning fat and boosting your metabolism. Um, and I also add some honey just to make it taste better. But honey also does have metabolism boosting um, properties. Y'all remember in my video, if you watched my weight loss video, I talk about how important it is to mix together foods that have metabolism boosting properties. I think apple cider vinegar um, has one. Lemon is definitely a metabolism boosting agent. So is cayenne pepper and honey. So when you mix those metabolism boosting agents together, what it does is it helps you to keep the weight off. I'm just gonna stir it up. All right, guys, so now I'm on to breakfast. What I like to eat for breakfast is really light and simple. I don't like a big old breakfast because, um, not even gonna lie, the apple cider vinegar drink makes me really full. So for breakfast, I usually do a rice cake, one rice cake like this. These rice cakes are from Quaker, Quaker Oats, and it's a caramel rice cake. And it's super healthy for you. Like, it's gluten-free, it's all that good stuff. And one cake is 50 calories. You can always get the, um, Regular, the lightly salted one, that one's only 35 calories, but as y'all know, I don't calorie count, and then I also don't like to deprive myself from eating good things, because when you do that, you're not gonna keep the weight off. I'm the type of person, like, I have to be realistic with the foods that I eat, because it has to be something that I would be willing to eat every day. So then I'm gonna take some peanut butter, a tablespoon of peanut butter, like that much. This is my protein right here, so I don't, it'll keep me full. I won't be looking for more to eat. Yeah, I just put peanut butter on top like this. Then it, a banana. So I'm just using a half a banana and I'm just cutting my bananas kind of thin to go on top of the rice cake. So once I cut them, I just place it on my rice cake like this. And then the other half of the banana, I just put on the side. So with me, I realize I'm the type of person who just likes to eat. So what I like to do is cut up my banana and all that good stuff. So it'll be like, I'm like, you know, the eating because I'm fat and if I eat this in a second I'll be like oh I didn't eat anything but you know I you really did eat something so I just put it on the side chop it up on the side real cute like that on top of the peanut butter banana stuff I put some cinnamon another metabolism boosting food right here I drizzle some cinnamon on top and then lastly I'll sprinkle some honey this. Ooh, so greedy. So this is my breakfast, guys. So yummy. Alongside my green tea, and I also drink a bottle of water with my breakfast. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this now. Hey y'all, back again. So now it's lunchtime. It's around one o'clock, one thirty. This is usually when I eat my lunch. Um, slightly for work, but I'm about to show y'all what I make. 
All right, guys, so this is for my lunch. I'm making tuna lettuce wraps. This is everything that you're gonna need, and I have a salad on the side. So this is basically everything that you're gonna need. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the Star Kiss Tuna Creations. Just gonna open it. I like this tuna because it's seasoned. So I, I get the regular tuna as well, but sometimes you get tired of eating the same boring old thing. So I started trying these and it's so good. Hot buffalo style tuna. I also have lemon pepper. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm a pescatarian. I don't know if you didn't watch my fitness video, I'll link it. But I talked about me being a pescatarian in that video. And it just helps me to keep my weight down. Cook up two packets of this tuna. I'm just gonna take onion and tomato and my knife. Oops. And some diced onion as well. So I'm just gonna chop up my tomatoes first. So inside I drop all of that into the tuna. Stir it up. Kosher dill pickles. I eat these up at the pack. If you want a snack, I definitely snack on pickles a lot. So I'm gonna cut about a half a pickle. I love mayo, so I can't use too much. I'm gonna take a dash because you need to be realistic. You don't have to deprive yourself from the things you like. You just have to do it in moderation, okay? So it's not like you ever have to keep yourself from eating things that you genuinely like. I told you guys, I'm the type of person who just likes to eat. So I put out four. I could have easily just put this all into two little romaine leaves, but if since I like in my head, just like, you know, eating, I did four. And since I'm using lettuce wraps instead of like bread or some other carb alternative, it's way less the calories and much healthier. So this is lunch. I just added a quick side salad. All I really put on my um, salads are a little bit of lemon juice and um, a salt and black pepper. So that's about it. And this is lunch. Really healthy, but really, really, really delicious, guys. Like one of my favorites. So my diet is extremely low carb, if you haven't noticed. Um, I really don't do carbs like that, y'all. I try really not to eat bread, pasta, rice, things of that nature. If you didn't know, I'm Nigerian, so that can be really hard for like my Africans, my Caribbean people, because a lot of the time rice is a staple food, but I don't, you know, deprive myself. If you notice, I haven't deprived myself today. Uh, what I do instead of doing rice is I'll do a brown rice or quinoa. So you can still eat your stew and rice and all jollof rice all that good stuff it's all about just making those healthy swaps you know i'm really big on i don't like to um crash diet or anything like that because i know it's something that i won't be able to stick with and i do have my cheat days and stuff here and there um but for the most part i really don't eat meat i don't eat bread i don't eat pasta i'm happy i'm not like a big pasta person um, and I cut down on sweets. Sweets is where it's, it's hard for me. Not necessarily like um, cakes and stuff, but candy, I love candy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch and I'll see y'all again for dinner. All right guys, now I wanna eat a nice snack. I love to snack. So I have to choose things that I can, you know, like keep putting in my mouth. So I love this popcorn, blue chicka um, pop. Sweet and salty kettle corn. Oh my god, y'all. It's literally my favorite popcorn ever. It's so good, guys. And it's so healthy for you. It's only like 70 calories um, per cup. Gluten free, GMO free. So I'll do about like a half a bowl like this. And then I'll eat some unsweetened um, applesauce. Guys, it's so good. Especially when it's cold, no sugar. I think it's only like 40 calories. I don't calorie count, but it's a very light snack.
Hey love, so it's dinner time now and I'm making my dinner. Um, I just came home, took a shower, and now I'm ready to eat. I'm starving, okay? So if I didn't mention this, y'all, I actually hate cooking. So when it's dinner time, I'm really over it at the end of the day and I just wanna eat. So I'm gonna cook something that's very quick, very easy. I, I love these shrimp because they're peeled and de veined, so I don't have to do anything. It makes it much easier. I've got some onions that I've already chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and let them saute in the pan. I'm gonna cook them. Yeah, so this is what I cook. It has a great flavor, great taste. It's lightly seasoned, Asian medley. Um, due to this having seasoning, I lightly season my shrimp. So since my veggies are already seasoned, I'm just gonna use some cayenne pepper just for some heat. I love spicy food, by the way. Black pepper. Well, for onions to saute. I also use extra virgin olive oil in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave because it takes about um, five minutes to cook. Five minutes. You know shrimp doesn't take a long time to cook. We're really just waiting on the onions. Also gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic. If you didn't know, garlic is also metabolism boosting food as well. And I happen to love garlic, so I kind of OD with the garlic. But as you can see, our onions and everything is sauteing pretty well. In goes our shrimp. So although seafood can run pricey, there are ways to, you know, save money. And you can definitely live a pescatarian lifestyle. So my Asian medley is done steaming. So I'm just gonna add it, add it into the pan just to saute everything up together. So this is dinner. So yummy guys. Alongside this, I'll also do an avocado. And I put sea salt and black pepper on this avocado. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I only use sea salt when using salt and I use it very sparingly. But oh my God, does this not look so delicious, guys? It literally looks picture perfect. About to smash. And then of course I have my water on the side. So if you're like me, you're greedy. After I eat, I like something sweet <laughs> to balance off. You know, the food was really spicy. So I just cut up some mangoes and this is kind of like my dessert. Um, I put them in the fridge so they're kind of hard. They don't look that pretty and juicy and stuff, but they're still really good. So I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm done for the day. So that's the end of my video. You guys saw what I ate in a day. Um, I really enjoyed making this video. So if you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and let me know what you want to see. Thanks, guys.